my friend Hope. Why <laughs> Ted? I was about to say Nash. <laughs> Mrs. Married Woman over here. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so we're totally gonna do a tag. This is what thirteen questions. Sure. So number one is what do you order at Starbucks? Strawberry and cream, all the um, way. The frappy, frappies, frappuccino. That's what the cream things are called. So that's what they're called. Frappy, frappuccino. What about I you? A, I have a frappy. I have. <laughs> <laughs> I normally get americano, but with room for some milk. It's not really americano because it's not black. But oh, here's one for you. What's one thing in your closet that you could not live without? Anything pink. So, so, <laughs> when, so when I said one thing. <laughs> She means every single pink thing in her closet is your one thing you can't have. <laughs> Always in my cardigans, aren't they? Yeah, and you know what? It doesn't, you know, they're like good for all seasons, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah. What about you? I think mine would have to be. I pretty much live in like this gap jumper, I swear. Yeah. Uh, what is one thing that most people probably wouldn't know about you? I hate sci fi. <laughs> it's, I actually only learnt that earlier on this afternoon, and I've known you for what? How many years? Like nine? <sighs> so far, so good. What's one thing people don't know about me? Between me and my brother, we own all of the Pokemon games. Yeah, I've only completed two ever in my life. I've started them all. <laughs> I, just, I just haven't actually completed them, and I don't know if that's just me getting lazy. Actually, scrap that. I think I probably like tend to not finish things off completely. Like I'll start something. And then I'll start, really? and then You're I'll, one of those and then I'll start something else. <gasps> and Adam's always like, "If you do it's a, such job, a half job, you, you just you just do it halfway, and then you start something else." Uh, name one thing that you want to do before you die. <gasps> Swim with dolphins, and also Aww. take a boat. I want to be above Titanic. I know I can't oh. be with Titanic, but I want to be in a boat above Titanic. They do those sort of excursions now, don't they? And be like Titanic. Yeah, off topic, but there's that thing as well. I don't know if you've heard about it, but there's like a shipwreck in the ocean, and there's a, a bomb in it which hasn't gone off yet. The government don't want to go up to it, and let it go off, or make it go off unnecessarily. Anyway, you have to put that in. One thing I'd like to do before I die, I reckon oh, it's going to sound really soppy. No, oh, we like soppy, but. I'd like to be a parent one day, to be a mum. Now I'd like to do that, I'd like to like have my own like family. That's so cute, you feel like you're awesome. <laughs> really, I can barely get myself dressed and ready for work and actually get myself to work in the morning. How the hell would I do that for someone else and then they... <laughs> What's one food that you cannot live without? Noodles! Well, instant noodles instant and my noodles. noodles. <laughs> but I mean, I don't like the rice noodles. I mean, I do, but I've you need them, a hell of a lot of then. soy sauce. That and McCoy sauce and vinegar. Oh, yes, actually, those have always been your favorite, haven't they? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> on food, you were on your deathbed, you would more think steak. <laughs> if I'm on my deathbed, I'm not going to be asking for steak. Probably, I'll probably go just for a packet of crisps. A packet of crisps, mate! <laughs> what was that thing in New York? You started doing impressions of us. <laughs> Give me something to say. So we were like, oh, just say it. I'll have two cotton chips, please, mate. That, you That's know, it. and you bloody went, I'll have two cotton chips, please, mate. The, the, please the, tell me that's not how I sound to you. You're not like out of something from bloody Oliver Twist, exactly. Jay. Dick Van Dyke, cool, blimey, governor. <gasps> Quote, slash phrase, do you live your life by? Oh my God. Would that work? Oh, was that it? <laughs> I thought you were just so shocked by that question. <laughs> oh my god. That also could be what quote do you say all the time? Because if you live your life by it or... Or it seriously. Yeah. I'm like, seriously? Seriously, yeah. guys? Yeah. We will just take this question to be, what do we always say? Because I think you do have a few... It's more like a catchphrase. Actually, when you call me up, oh my god, help. Okay, seriously. Because what would yours be? No way. I go, no way, a lot. And I also say... I'll level with you. I don't know why I say it. <gasps> you do. But I'll say, I'll level with you. You know, I think about it. That's it. But I always do. I I'll say, level with you. I always, I say that, and also I say, as it goes. Have you seen that film with the pictures? I go, oh, well, I have. As it goes. Oh, as and it goes. Say, and she says pictures. Not the pictures. Pic the pictures. Not going to the movies. I'm going to the pictures. The pictures. Okay, like, well, I'll see you at Canon later. Like going to <laughs> the moving pictures. 
first thing I ever saw in the pictures was the Lion King and I was four years old. Oh, seriously? What was the first thing you ever saw in the pictures? The pictures, okay? Okay, the pictures. <laughs> I think it was Stuart Little. Oh. And then I really wanted a rat. No, mouse. What? He's a mouse. <laughs> Pretty sure he's a mouse. Number, Number seven. seven. What do you like and dislike about the YT community? What the hell is the YT community? As in the YouTube community? That's awkward because <laughs> this is going on YouTube. I like that you share everything and I really like that if you don't know how to do something, whether it's a makeup tutorial or that oh, perfect, the tutorials if you want like a perfect amazing. winged liner or even if you think I need to put a shelf up and I've never had to put a shelf up in my life, actually someone will be already online uploading a video for that as we speak if there's not one already for it so actually I really like that. One thing you dislike though? I dislike how people can be so- When people leave hate I think fair enough that's your own opinion but at the same Talks. time if you're saying it just to make someone else feel shitty about themselves then actually that says more about you than it does yes. than it does about yes. that as a person. Uh What's your number one most listened to song on iTunes? I can't remember the last time I listened to something on iTunes, I won't lie. I either have Spotify on or one of like the music channels, or I'm listening to something in my car so it's just a CD. That's a hard one though. So, we don't know is the answer to that question. Uh, number nine, what kind of style would you define yourself as having? Preppy punk unique? Does that work? Yeah. Where, yeah, it's weird. Like, what would you describe Jory as? Scruffy. It's not scruffy. It's scruffy. It's not scruffy. It's just, if you were there clean. on her wedding day, you'd be like, holy crap. Well, I'm not going to dress scruffy <laughs> for my wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to show up in trusty gap jumper and leggings for wedding day <laughs> and go, yeah, I do. I, okay, I would describe as comfy. Too much eyeliner, dark hair. Comfy clothes, tattoos. What's your favourite favorite number? Nine. Oh, why's that? It's my birthday. <laughs> it's funny you said that because 13 is mine and that's my birthday. I think everyone's yeah. favourite number well, is also, their birthday. Also, don't you find that some things in life just take you back to that number? Like I lived at like, the like my favourite house I lived in, I lived for like just under 13 years. The house number was 13 as well. My cat. And you have a black cat. And he is 13. <gasps> Holy crap. He is 13, not for long, but he is 13. And also I was born at 13 minutes past eight. Mine's just my birthday. It's a good reason. <laughs> it was a fun day. But two pet peeves. Two things that piss you off. Oh, people that walk and all of a sudden go, oh, how annoying is that? Just. There should be lanes. Yeah. If you're gonna speedy walk, <laughs> walk here. Oh, if you're yeah, going to like lane. stroll, hold hands, be lovey dovey. The strolling you know, lane. Stroll there. The strolling lane. Rush hour to have those lanes. Because if you've got a day off and you think, oh let's go for a stroll. Yeah, that's it's nice. not a relaxing feeling to think, oh let's just go for a stroll. Which yeah. lane shall we get into, oh. darling? Pet peeves. Um driving and people don't indicate because it's like you know it's dangerous and and it's just well that's it it's, it's dangerous you could be having a really nice conversation obviously you've got your like phone hooked up yeah like say you're like you're like chatting and driving you're like yeah so it was a really long oh what the should i call you back later i'm very sorry <laughs> <laughs> Only... what's it called stranger not stranger danger road danger road rage road rage <laughs> stranger danger <laughs> oh, okay last one and can we just point out there's 13 questions 13. 13. Oh, that's your number. That I now know what you're talking about. What is your guilty pleasures? Hmm. That's a really hard question. It is actually. I must admit, I hate One Direction. Cannot stand One Direction. I said it. Okay. However, I will give you this. I actually like That's What Makes You Beautiful. And then also, Zayn Malik's song Pillow Talk. I, I didn't think I'd like. Ow. I actually like it. Oh. oh, that must be the worst like representation <laughs> of that song. Really pleasure uh, watching. No, because I don't really watch like trash TV. I do. <laughs> actually, you know what? That too. That too. I'll watch like that that hoarders program. That, that, really interesting. that I like because then it makes you feel better when you look at your own room. You think this like, is like, not actually, so untidy? I'm living like a freaking queen. Listen to any music that you think. 
you wouldn't pick me just this like absolutely like it no i mean i did like justin bieber's sorry the world has got bieber fever the only reason i didn't like him is because i thought he was really yeah going for me i, I used care. to think he was like super up himself yeah exactly i used to think he had a bit of a stick up his ass but actually, he had bieber fever i think maybe now he's made some different music keep it on the kardashians I love it. I it's love so it. terrible. It's so terrible. I mean, oh I, I mean, God. I can't talk. This shit I watch, but Courtney, like, I can't believe you just totally borrowed my shirt the other day. Like, what the hell? You, like, uh, dropped like a diamond earring or something, like mm. in the sea. Did you know, like him? There are people dying in the world. Yes. <laughs> Look at yourself. The camera crew standing there. If you're thinking, oh, actually, the way I'd normally react, not now. But then you're thinking, this point make make really good TV. So. You know, get my good side. It's like, as I, I break down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do love yeah. my yeah entertainment. Yeah, it, it is good actually. Total divas, love that. Well, that's not even a guilty pleasure. Oh, so that's all the questions we have from on the on the tag. So keep in tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love to know what your answers are. So comment below and keep posted because we've got some pretty exciting stuff coming up for you next. In the meantime, see you later from Hope and Jadine. Bye. Bye.